Hi there guys, Steve from yearroundriders.co.uk Back with another evening vlog for you um, Topic of discussion for tonight, just something I wanted to touch on um, just lightly is um, keeping warm in winter Now there's a lot of riders or a lot of people who ride in fair weather conditions that say to me Oh, I don't know how you can do it in this weather, you know, going out getting wet Blah 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 blah, I've been freezing cold so I just want to, you know, take you through a few a few things that I do to try and stay warmer in winter. And uh, the first one is layers, obviously. I uh, I wear a pair of uh, thermal pants with a little flap at the bottom to pee through. They haven't got a flap flap at the back. They're not a, a set of old school ones, is with a butt flap. Uh, but yeah, a set of thermal pants. I wear a thermal t-shirt underneath my jeans and my uh, normal t-shirt. I then wear a hoodie. I have a Cooler Master hoodie. For those who don't know, Cooler Master are a PC component manufacturer. They make cases and keyboards and mice and peripherals like that. So I wear my Cooler Master hoodie and I also wear my leather jacket. Uh, at the moment I've got a leather Yamaha jacket which I got for Christmas. My mum knows that I want a uh, VMAX. So she, uh, she couldn't afford to get me a VMAX so instead she got me a jacket. It says Yamaha on it. I drive a Honda. Um, but no, it's a really nice jacket, it's really warm, really comfy, keeps the wind out and it's quite light as well, it's not too heavy, it's a really thick leather and it's got padding and armour and whatnot in it um, so yeah, I wear that on top of my hoodie and I also wear a pair of high visibility waterproof pants which are great for A, making you sweat and B, keeping you dry, they don't keep you dry fantastically uh, it generally seeps through the crotch area I'm sure most people who wear waterproofs on a bike will know it generally runs down the tank and straight on your ball bag. So, and then obviously I wear socks, boots, gloves. Gloves that I wear are Oxford Bone Dries. Uh, I've had these gloves for years now. Uh, I've had to do a repair on one of the fingers on the right hand, the side of the index finger, I've had to stitch up. Um, but I think that's either from braking or holding it on the brakes, you got a headlight out. Uh, from breaking or holding it on the brakes, I'm not sure where that's from but I stitched that up and they are really good at keeping your hands dry and obviously keeping your gloves and your hands dry uh, half the battle, the other half of the battle is keeping the wind off your the wind off your hands so again if you can get some, you got headlight out but thanks uh, if you can get some hand guards to keep the wind off your hand without making your bike look like a twat I mean even if you make your bike look like an absolute twat to be honest I prefer function over form in some senses so I would get some hand guards. I used to have some hand guards on my Chinese crosser and keeping the wind off, your hands just stayed fantastically warm. Uh, heated grips are another option. I use the Oxford hot grips. I don't know if you can see those there. And they are amazing. They take a bit, they take a bit of a while to warm up and they are a fucker to your battery, especially if you leave them on like I do regularly. Um, they take a while to warm up. They usually get up to full temperature about halfway on the way to work. But once they've, uh, once they've got to temp, I definitely appreciate the fact that I've got them. And also, I don't know if you can see these, but I don't know even if they know if the camera's pointing at these. But I've got some little um, lever sleeves, which are like a foam rubber sleeve that slip over the rear, uh, the rear, uh, that slip over the clutch and brake lever. And these basically make sure that when I do pull the clutch in or I'm waiting on the front brake, that I'm not just con contacting straight with the cold metal of the bar levers and to be honest the, the swings and roundabouts with these it's a catch-22 situation because they do stop the metal of the lever from cooling your fingers down but if they're wet and they obviously because the foam they absorb moisture if they are wet and you're holding on your clutch it can cause water to seep into your gloves which then makes your fingers cold which then if the wind's getting onto your hands cools that water down which makes your fingers fucking freezing so they're a bit of a catch-22 situation if you've got fully waterproof gloves and it's not pissing it down with rain or your bike's not going to get left out and exposed in the rain like you cover it up on a night or you keep it in a garage then then that's going to be fine um, so I would recommend them they were about £1.80 off eBay so they're definitely a worthwhile buy um, heated grips again you don't have to get the Oxford ones you don't have to go branded um, on my uh, Honda Shadow the Cruiser that I had before I had the generic pair of Chinese hot grips they were called and they were just as fucking epic as well you know they got really warm 
Um, again, the only problem with them is they don't come with any kit or anything like that to wire them up into your loom so that they come on with your ignition. They just wire straight into your battery, which can cause you to leave them on. So don't be an idiot like me and leave them on all the time because you will eventually kill your battery. Um, but yeah, th there's just some key things you can do. I mean, even if it's not raining, waterproof trousers are fantastic at keeping you warm. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever done what I've done before, which is get home from work, leave your waterproof trousers on, bump, fucking hell, I wear a big pot <coughs> excuse me, uh, leave your waterproof trousers on and have a lie down for five, ten minutes and end up falling asleep for an hour or two. But they make you sweat like mad because the waterproof, they, they just your, your skin can't really breathe that well so they do keep you warm in general and that's what thermals do as well because it's a really thin layer really close to your skin it just helps you keep your body heating that little bit more so i mean i generally wear my waterproofs whenever it's cold even if the road's bone dry because not only does a high vis help keep me visible but it obviously they keep me warm as well or at least that little bit warmer so yeah, plenty of layers. Look for heated accessories, heated grips and things like that. Make sure you've got winter gloves. I mean, I some people are gonna curse me for this, but I wear a pair of fingerless gloves in winter, uh, in summer, sorry. So, or at least I used to, because the problem I had before with my China bike was it had knobbly tires, head light out. It had knobbly tires on there. Um, and because it was an enduro bike, at high speeds and high RPM, it, the handlebars were just rattling like mad. And that used to really, really, really make my hands hurt. So I had a pair of York weightlifting gloves. Because I'm a bit of a gym buff, or at least I used to be. And um, they had some great padding in the, in the palm section, which just took all that vibration out. And my wrists weren't hurting, my elbows weren't hurting. Just a little bit of padding on these gloves took away all the, the symptoms and ailments as a result of riding with novelty tires. And uh, I used to wear them all summer long. And obviously I know if you come off your bike, you know, your hands are susceptible to a lot of damage because you, your body instinctively puts them out in front of you to protect you and whatnot, blah, 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 blah. Um, but I, I, I've also crashed um, at very low speed without gloves and I was perfectly fine. My hands didn't even touch the floor. So yeah, we've got gloves. I mean, definitely go down the route of winter gloves and waterproof gloves because like I say, the Oxford bone dries. I've had them for years now and other than having to repair them due to wear and tear, they, they have been faultless. And the Oxford heated grips, I know it sounds like I'm plugging Oxford right now, and Oxford, if you're watching, I will happily review any other products that you've got for you. Um, but yeah, Oxford, if you're watching, I love your heated grips, and I love the bone dry gloves. They are fantastic. Um, the bone dries could be a bit warmer, but I sacrifice the um, temperature. Come on, fella. I sacrifice the temperature um, for them being dry, because, like I say, even if you've got, you can have the, I used to have a really thick pair of really warm winter gloves, but you brushed a bit of snow off your bike or got a bit of damp on there if it were raining and they were the coldest gloves I'd ever worn. It doesn't matter how thick they are, if the wet and the wind's on them, they're, uh, they're going to make your hands fucking freezing. So yeah, make sure they've got some form of waterproof into them. And just, just bundle up, use common sense. It's like if you're going out for a walk, you know, you're not gonna go out in shorts and t-shirt in this weather, are you? You know, minus six, minus seven. You know, if you're all, oh, I'll put me Bermuda shorts on and go for a leisurely stroll in my flip-flops. You, uh, you just don't do it. Oh. So, yeah, common sense. And obviously being comfortable. Thank you. Being comfortable is the main thing. Because if you're uncomfortable on a bike while you're riding, you, I, I'm, I'm gonna hold my hand up to doing this as well. If you are freezing cold and your fingers are hurting and the tears are running down your face, some of you riders are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you are that cold that you are in absolute agony, you're not thinking about your riding, you're not thinking about where you're going, all you are thinking about is how much pain you're in and getting to where you need to be as quickly as you possibly can. So you're gonna be rushing and if you can't feel your hands, if you can't feel the tips of your fingers, your clutch control is going to be off. You just you're putting yourself at risk. So you want to make sure that you are as comfortable as you can possibly be, because if you're not comfortable, you're not safe. Um, shit, I, I I apologise now if I ended up accidentally sounding like I was trying to parent anybody or lecture you. I'm not. I think I came across in a really condescending way then thinking about what I just said. But no, generally, I, it's your guys' safety that I care about as well. You know, there's plenty of riders out on the road and there's more and more every year. 
but there are less and less every year as well unfortunately um, so yeah it, it, just use common sense keep yourself warm keep yourself comfortable there's loads of things you can get nowadays you can get heated gloves I think um, one of the uh, riding instructors when I took my bike test he had a BMW sports tour Benduro one of the things that um, you and McGregor went, went around the world on it was Ewan McGregor that went around the world on a bike, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm almost certain it was. Um, well, one of the BMWs that Ewan McGregor had. And with that, he had an optional extra BMW jacket and BMW pants and everything. And they all plugged into a little plug just next to the seat. And uh, they were heated pants. He had heated gloves, heated pants, heated jacket. Everything on his BMW was heated. And he said, you know, he was cosy all the time. He was nice and warm. Or cushy, I think he said. He said, oh, I'm cushy in this. I'm well warm and uh, yeah I'm sure he had no problem riding in winter obviously other than the road conditions so yeah hopefully that's given you a little bit of insight onto what I do to keep warm um, also sorry I forgot to mention a windscreen they are great I mean even that little thing I've never ridden a bike with a windscreen before bump fucking potholes um, I've never ridden a bike with a windscreen before and to be honest I thought it's not gonna make much difference unless you've got like a big American state trooper fucking clear thing in front of you, like a mid midlife crisis Harley Davidson. Um, I thought it's not going to make a spot of difference, but it does because it directs the airflow up and above you. I mean, this thing has reduced helmet lift, and to be honest, it's I'm not as cold in my neck, it's deflecting the wind away from my neck. So even a little windscreen like that, if your bike doesn't have one, look at getting one. You can pick them up cheap, you don't have to buy a brand new one, If you, especially if you're only running it for winter. If you're looking at just staying warm this winter, and you're not bothered about you know, making your bike the same throughout summer and you want to strip it back down to how it was. Get some cheap grips, although do be careful because you can obviously damage your electronics with some of these cheap Chinese things. But I've used cheap Chinese for years and, you know, because I'm a cheap bastard and I've not had many problems. Thanks for waiting. Um, I've not had many problems. So, you know, just as cheaply as possible so that you can be as warm as possible and as safe as possible this winter. What else did I were going to say? Oh, laptop. I figured out the other day, because I use a laptop for work and I take it home with me on a night. Come on, Mr. Bus. Yeah, you turn, because you're going to block everybody else. Um, I use a laptop for work and I forgot to take my rucksack with me the other day. And on the way back, I thought, well, I need to take my laptop home. What am I going to do with it? Headlight out. So I zipped it up in my jacket while it was in standby. And fuck me. It was like having a hot water bottle on me. I know it's probably not that good for the laptop, but it was in standby mode, so it was cooling down. But yeah, it just kept me really nice and toasty on the way home. So th there's lots of things you can do. Feel free to post a comment with your suggestions or, you know, do a video response of what you do to show us your bike. Have you got heated grips? Have you got windscreen? Have you got bar mitts to keep the wind off you? You know, anything that you've got that you can contribute to helping people stay warm while the weather's like this, then uh, please, the fucking rain's just come out of nowhere. Um, then please uh, do comment do do that and that's all for me for now I'm signing off so enjoy the rest of your week happy Monday everybody headlight out and uh, yeah like comment and subscribe I'll catch you later